rubric today. Let's go to our classroom, open up the class, go to classwork, scroll to pet practice. It's a homework grade. Normally a rubric will have this trophy in it, so that's why it's practice. And you'll see the rubric here. You'll click on that. And you'll see this is a slide document that you need to add to. I already have my stuff in here just to show you an example of what's going where. Um, let's start with here, slide three. Here's my original photograph that I did my original sketch from, that I did my, whether it's my positive or negative sketch from for my silk screen. So in order to put those in, I'll show you this last step actually over here. Um, over here, this is my silk screen. You're gonna do this after you do your practice print today but I wanted to get you started in the document. So in order to put an image, I'm gonna to go to insert, image, upload from computer. You already took a picture with your camera, and if you didn't, you'll go to camera, open up the camera, hold the picture up, and take the picture, and that will save into your folder. In this case, I'm on a Mac, so I apologize. The directions might be a little bit different, but either way, your picture will be in the pictures folder, Mine is right here. This might be a little bit different, but for now, okay. So here's my, let's pretend that this is my screen print. Um, so I'm just placing my final silk screen on here. So this is where you're going to insert your final finish piece. This is all of your research. Let's do the rubric. So all you have to do for elements and principles, I wanted negative space, which I see here. I printed my negative space. So I gave myself what I asked for. I did several preliminary sketches, which I can show you here. I did one, two sketches, maybe even more. Um, I'm not going to give myself a 10 just because I don't feel like I really went above and beyond for this. I'm going to give myself a 9. Highlight the question mark for creativity originality. It is my own original photograph, my own original drawing. So um, again, I explored several choices. I did the positive and the negative drawings. So again, I'm gonna give myself a nine. I could give myself a 10 because it is original. Um, but again, I didn't go above and beyond. Effort and perseverance. Um, I could say I did, I went well beyond. Effort to me with silk screening is if I did maybe two different stencils, two different colors. So again, actually, and maybe it's not really my maximum effort. So if I'm between an eight and a nine, because there's no details lacking. So I'm going to give myself an 8.5. And then craftsmanship and skill. If you look at my print, again, this is practice. But if this were a real graded project, I would not want to see that mistake. I would want to see you print it again. Um, and I can show you techniques on how to fix that. But there's some bleeding happening here. So my craftsmanship, there's some minor flaws. So I'm going to actually give myself an eight. And mentor, I've been mentoring others. If you're sitting at a table and you're working with your classmates and helping each other out, especially if they're struggling with cutting or knowing where to get stuff, I'm going to give myself a 10. That's how you complete your rubric. If I don't agree with you, I will either improve the grade or we'll have a conversation. The last thing, so the rubric is done. My final piece print is done. My sketches and reference images is done. Now I want to give myself some feedback. You're going to give me feedback. So the one thing I, your teacher, could have done to make this more successful for you. So is there anything that you um, wish I had done? So I know maybe um, show me where to find the tape. I don't know. For example, that's one example. Just if there's something that I could do to make this project better for you in the future. Um, what's one thing you feel you struggled with the most? Maybe cutting clean round edges. I don't know. Maybe cutting is your, is your struggle. Maybe coming up with an original design. I don't know. Uh, one thing you feel you were the most successful with, I'm going to say screen printing was fun and easy. So I think I was good with that. So then the last one, this is just me telling you uh, good job. Um, then you go ahead and you click turn in. That is it.